Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. There were two men that shared a room in the hospital. One of the men was bedridden. The other man could walk, although he was very ill. The bedridden man began complaining, saying, Oh, I wish I could look outside of the window. The man that could walk, he began going over there to the window every day and letting the bedridden man know what was on the other side of the window. He started describing the beautiful sunshine, the blue sky, the white clouds, all of the people walking around, and some with their pets, and on and on and on. The beautiful grass, just whatever was to be seen for that day, he would tell the bedridden man all about it. And soon the bedridden man became very jealous of the man that could walk. He got so jealous he could hardly stand it. But soon thereafter, the man that could walk passed away. Shortly thereafter, probably a few days, the bedridden man began really missing the man that could walk. He loved his description of the outside world. And he expressed this to one of the staffers one day. The staffer put the bedridden man in a wheelchair took him over to the window, rolled back the curtain, and showed him it was all a facade. You couldn't see outside of any window. Oh, this made the bedridden man feel so terrible because he realized that the man who could walk was only showing him love each and every day when he described the outside world. And he began feeling really bad about it, but there was nothing he could do. He could not ask forgiveness of the man because the man was already gone. So I ask you today, the bedridden man, do you think he was bedridden in more ways than one? I think so. The Bible tells us to put off our jealousies. Don't be jealous and envious of others if they seem to have more than you do. Because God loves each and every one of us and He has enough love and favor to go around for each and every one of us. God expects us to love our fellow man and not to hold bitterness and envy against anyone. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.